Hello again and welcome back to the AVL tutorial series. This is going to be a short tutorial and we will just discuss how you can export the graphics from the AVL analysis that you do and convert them to vector graphics and then import them to your presentation and reports for the highest quality possible with the minimum size. So I have this AVL error console open I'm going to select the test file that we have been working with. I'm going to use this button to load the geometry. And we see that it is loaded without any problems. And next thing I would like to do is I would like to see the geometry. So I'm going to enter the operation menu. And then I'm going to use command G to get the geometry file. So we can see how the geometry looks. This is how it looks. Now I want to save this geometry. So for example, I want to showcase it to someone or I want to use it in my report. What we can do is you can use the H hard copy command. So I'm going to use H, press enter. And it says writing post script to file plot.ps. So this will create a plot.ps in the same directory as the arrow console or AVL that is running and any additional file you're going to add or hard copy from your analyses will be added to this plot.ps. In this case, we're just going to do one and we're going to exit. Remember that you have to properly quit AVL to make sure that your plot.ps is not corrupted so it's working properly. To do that, I'm going to press enter again to go back to operation menu, press enter again to the top level AVL menu and type quit and press enter. Now AVL has closed in the back end and I can be sure that the plot.ps file is properly created. So to check that, if I look at the folder where arrow console is, I can see now there is a new file called plot.ps. This is what is created right now. And how we can export this is we can use a software called Inkscape, which is for vector graphic design and modifications, and it is free. I will put a link to where you can download this file. I already have a version of this open on my computer, and I can easily drag and drop this plot.ps file because Inkscape reads the post script or .ps files directly. So I can read this, drag and drop. Once I drag and drop, now it is doing something in the background and then it shows me this window that asks me a couple of questions about how you want to import this file. I can leave everything as default. I don't want to change anything and I can press OK. Once I do that, we see that the file is imported into this plot. Now, if you saw I dragged and dropped this file into the new window of this ink escape, if I open the file, the window will be resized automatically to the size of this file that I just dragged and dropped. But because I dragged and dropped it, it is not resized properly. What I can do, I can move it around and also I can go to edit menu and say resize page to selection. So now it will resize the page to the file that I just imported. Now from here, now I can save this file as an SVG or vector graphic. So I can go to menu, click save as, and then you can see in Kiscape by default has the SVG or vec scalable vector graphic format. You can choose other formats as well, but this is a format that works very well with the latest version of Microsoft Office documents, whether it's Microsoft Word or Microsoft PowerPoint. So I'm going to save this as SVG. We, let's just call it plot.svg. So I'm going to save it in the same folder as the arrow console. So once I finish saving and I check the folder again, I see that the plus SVG is now created in that same folder. So now I want to use this new vector format graphic from my geometry 
design to show it to someone. So I need to use it in a board document or a presentation PowerPoint. So I'm going to try to now put it in a Word document. So simply again, I can just insert it from insert picture this device and then choose the file or I can just drag it and drop it to the Word document. So it says that it cannot be displayed. Uh, we are going to use the other method around. So I'm going to get the folder, go to this device, import. So if I import it that way, I can see properly that it's loaded. To make sure the quality is in vector graphic, you can always zoom in. And if you see that the lines are not, or the text is not, pixelated, it means that you do have a vector graphic. So here you see that I don't do have a vector graphic because as I zoom in to the maximum possible zoom scale, the information is not blurred or pixelated. And as it is printed, for example, if you save it as a PDF or print it, you always make sure the highest quality of the graphic as well. Additionally, if you look at the size of the file, it is only 23 kilobytes. So it is a small file size with a lot of information. You can do the same thing in your PowerPoint presentation. So I have a PowerPoint open here. I'm going to insert this graphic. And you see that it is added again as a vector graphic. So I'm going to zoom in. You see again the quality is kept. Nothing is blurred or pixelated. So that is how you can export graphic from AVL, change them to scalable vector graphic from PostScript file, which you can then read into Microsoft Word or Microsoft PowerPoint, and then import them into Microsoft Word or Microsoft PowerPoint, and then use them as you wish in your reports and presentations.